What's the deal, baby? Hope everything is going good, Saggy. If you want an injury, you know what to do. If things are not going good, <clears throat> right now in your soul time. A possibility for a new reality. For something that's infinity. 40. Maybe that's the age range. And higher. Throat chakra. That's not for everybody with the age. But it's your throat chakra. You need to pray more. Or maybe uh, things are starting to change with this vibe. The way you speak. The way you've been thinking. It has changed. Because... Huh. Fertility. Things are growing. Things are birthing. So if you're not physically pregnant, you're mentally pregnant. <clears throat> because your brain is listening to you when you talk and what your boundaries are. Cohensive. Support our ability to harmonize the frequency of the heart with the frequency of the mind for the Ability to create the reality that we desire. 13. What else is 13? Satan. <laughs> Evil. Con things that are connected to it. New level, new devil. Higher devil. You know. But what happens is, is that you have built your emotional account. Like an, a bank account. That's why you're getting this abundance and you getting this freedom yes honey so let's go through this energy real quick I want you to be aware that there's some fire sign it could be a woman in their masculine energy <laughs> they're daring they dangerous they want to compete with you or maybe you went to school with this person. Maybe you work with them. Or maybe they contract together the job you had or whatever. They need healing. Maybe you used to date this person. Maybe they were in a gang. But uh, maybe they had a strong family foundation that was toxic. You know? They could be a star seed. This came in reverse, but their heart is opening, watching you. Or you can have a lot of men or women in their masculine energy that's starting to have more passion. And you say intuition when it comes to uh, making things work mentally. If you are a motivational person or you help people or, you know, you know that people are watching you or you've been setting an example or you walking like you talk it. You people are watching you, and it's a good thing. Okay. Or they see your heart is open, and you know they can heal. But either way, we have someone with tattoos, or someone looking in the mirror. You've been reflecting these people, or uh, making an impression, creativity. They doing something in the community. So this could be a man or a woman with tattoos or just feeling bad about what they seeing in the mirror. They want to call in their soulmate. But someone else is probably the one getting on their nerves or the one crying and playing victim. Yeah, they want to pour some shit out. They trying to keep hope. Yeah. Uh, your, your individual team. What makes you different? Maybe even the car... <clears throat> You ride into your friends and the jobs you do to how you treat the kids and your animals, your pet. Yeah, whatever this asset you invested in or you want is coming back to you. And you have a lot of motherfuckers jealous. Or this could be someone else that have a new car, new home, something of an asset, a new business, a part for a machine so they can get something started, you know, for their car, and they jealous of you. So this bitch is going to try to make some kind of effort. Yeah, they want, they'll be back, but this came in reverse because I feel like they won't be back because they're going to see that you are in this energy, nurturing, not giving a fuck, or this could be a mother. This could be a grandma 
right? Grandpa, grandfather that's in their feelings when it comes to you. Maybe they're not a jealous person. Maybe they've never met someone that's just as nurturing or have it going on or with as much common sense to understand emotional intelligence because this is a queen that would understand how people feel. They can also be an enabler. They can also be a people pleaser. They can also be um, a doormat. Yeah, so maybe it's very rare they're jealous of people or they've met they match when it came to common sense, book sense, or whatever they thought they had above you. Or that they should have because of their age or something. Who knows? But yeah, you fall in your nose, huh? Remember? Fertility, things are growing. You ain't in debt. These people think they know about you and they don't. So you can have some people in the LGBT community that doubt your sexuality or uh, think that you're going through a phase or think they can get with you or it's just uh, that you don't know who you are or something. Yeah, with well, children could be a factor while your love life is being affected. This We already know this person, these people can't take care of their kids 1D. Yeah, and whatever they committed to. I feel like the communication, you know, they you have logic and clarity and who cares? You're in your masculine energy, even if you are a female right now. You balance, okay, this woman. That's looking for a job. Or a man that's thinking in his feminine energy. It is safe for you to love. Tell you know that. Because this 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 reading is gonna be beautiful. You need to handle your addictions or you stand away from people in groups that watch you or can't do that's codependent, you know, that wanna take you on a date. Yeah, you got somebody else following their nose, right? With the freckles, or they have freckles, right? Or they have a pointy nose. But I feel like, yeah, they feeling better. Or they see you feeling good. So this could be someone with the freckles snooping around, watching you, and they see you still looking like a fresh of breath fucking air. Yeah, they could be looking for a job too or see that that's what you need to be doing. They're going to watch you go on interviews or that's what they're doing. So this could be competition. Somebody that needs to forgive and learn that they deserve love too. <laughs> and this bitch needs to stop trolling you. <laughs> and you need to be cautious. Because these people got unresolved problems and they not getting any support with that three. So they might talk kind of stupid to you or they might try to get forgiveness. Remember, they'll be back. This could be a mother-in-law, someone that'll be back trying to act like they forgive because uh, you have your own individual, you have your own individuality. So they gonna try you again with some mask on, friend. Putting in some effort. Because they jealous that you don't even have to have nothing new. You are an asset, boo. Remember? You bring value to the table. You are the fucking table. Yeah, it could be someone with long nails. Or someone that go the extra yard, take initiative. Long. <clears throat> they doing good with they sales. Or uh, whatever they thinking about usually works. Past life relationship. This could be a guy that's selling dope or something. Or doing things, bootlegs or whatever. A girl selling bundles or for doing teeth. Who knows? Uh, they have. They thinking about shit. That's what I'm talking about. Your past life relationship. Or someone you have known before. It's in the earth energy or they are earth sign. Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Taurus. Yeah, they want to start a new cycle. 
They want to travel to, towards you. But uh, this could be the opposite water. Because <clears throat> we got somebody bald headed. This reading is beautiful. Just give me time. I'm trying to work through it. Huh. Get to know each other. So what's going to happen? And you're going to say, tell somebody, fuck you, that you were spiritually connected to. They had came with this little pinnacle. <laughs> Your twin flame heart. Okay. They want to be daring. They might try to hurt the person you with. Because they need healing. They think you should put up with their shit. They think love is how much shit you put up with. And you don't have time to be raising kids. Yeah, they gonna see you happy or they gonna try to be, try to break something up. So be careful. Even if you're just going on dates, this motherfucker here, it's all in your business and they toxic. <laughs> it's safe for you to love, fuck this motherfucker. They probably watching you. Be careful when you leave your home, right? Especially if you're a woman. Or you playing the role. LGBTQ, what the fuck you do? Okay, because... <clears throat> I feel like... Somebody want to make the effort, but they jealous of you. And when they come and see you, they going to see that you got it going on. But wait a minute. Mm. See this go while the earth energy. They gonna wanna move in with you, change partners. They still they gonna wanna look good with you. Cause this is too positive. Yeah. That's the energy they gonna be in, friend. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And this is why by this person probably want to do some real freaky shit to you. Um, yeah, y'all going to be like this. A couple. Soulmate, twin flame. Y'all going to be like, busting out. Busting. Okay? This shit is delicious. Okay? It's yummy. It's yummy. Yes. Like I said, if you want an energy read with Pony, let me know what's up. Go and grab a snack. Because this energy read should be that long. I shoveled this energy earlier. I appreciate y'all comments. I don't ever get tired of them, friend. Ah. I wasn't gonna do this like this, but hell, I went pretty fast through that reading. Yeah, 13 fucking minutes. So go get your snack, use the restroom. Ask me a question. Maybe I'm gonna start going live. So let me know what's a good day to go, day of the week to go live or time of the day. <clears throat> so y'all can ask me questions. And see if I can pull cards. I really don't need my cards if you just tell me the story. Right? It just give me an idea of where you coming from exactly. Because everybody's not familiar with what they feel. You could be feeling one thing and you're really feeling something else. Or, yeah, that's what free us. When we can label it and understand it, then we can deal with it, right? And I'm free. I thought I was probably almost done. And I am. 
So let's get back to the current NG or let's see if this fucking NG has changed. Cause nobody wants to hear about haters all the time. Or what your twin flame is doing. Especially for some of y'all that don't have one. And if you are older and you haven't done a reading, maybe you should. And if you get readings done, maybe you should have one with me. Or maybe you should change your astrologer. Okay? So we can get you up and booting. Because there really is no excuse. <laughs> and this. There's other things we need to pull up. I have nine different cards, so it's what's up. It's not even about handling the truth. It's about showing you what you want in your person and how you move. I'm gonna show you how to do things and how you move. Your energy. What works best for you. What situation in your life do you need to be more logical about? When it comes to how you want to get things done with this Queen, King of Pentacles. That came in reverse, but let's read them up right. Two, to get things done. When you probably have a chance to restart something. How you going to go about it in a different way? Huh? How you going to get things done? Man, come on, let's do this. Air NG. You be talking to yourself or you need to be. <laughs> Communicating with yourself. Remember, things need to be... Your brain is listening. Ooh, yes, it's listening. I just seen the six. Ooh, it's listening. It might do make you feel vulnerable, boo. It might do. The clarity might make you feel vulnerable. But it's all good. Six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine swords. Yeah, release. It's time to let go of what no longer serves you. Exactly. <clears throat> yes, honey, 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 honey. Don't worry. Remember when we talked about that emotional account? Yeah, that's a bank account. Five of Pentacles is like a bank. Yeah. Spiritual awakening. You're doing a lot of shit. You could be overwhelmed. And you have clarity that you're going to have to do it on your own. Or that is that you know what you're doing to get shit done. So you're reflecting that. You could be relaxing all you need to. Or take more power walks. I've been take, I took one yesterday. And I'm getting smaller because my health is getting better. So yes, baby, you have options. Fuck you mean. So how you going to redo this? Restart. Not just uh not um this relationship. We talking about something with heart and intellect with these swords. Something you need to communicate new to yourself. Redo your wardrobe, rearrange your house, clean your energy, rearrange, uh go clean your cars. Pick up on another subject. Hobby or something that's going to take you start taking longer baths start eating more healthy foods but we know that so you know or maybe you don't let's do an energy read let's go you have a variety of choices and it's not a secret people can see it you can't hide that you're not struggling when in in the poverty way, you know, because if you're going around people and you always got your drink or your half or you all, you don't really ask for gas money and you don't uh, go to people's house just to eat or you don't um, just try to use people for they, what they have, people know that because you unconsciously don't think of those problems because you're consciously thinking about the bigger problems. You're constantly thinking about maybe fixing your wash and dryer, things that's more important. <laughs> Fixing the car, getting the parts for a car, getting a new car, getting a dependable car. You're constantly thinking of your problems. Are, you have problems. They're just not on the same level as these other people. So they just 
dismiss the, that you even have problems. And you probably talk to these people about your problems and they think you're bragging or they, they think you're trying to front or show out. You know, you up in that bitch like, I don't know which one I want to pick out of this car and this car. And they like, you know, you know, you shouldn't, if you're going through that, you know. I don't know which nice neighborhood I want. I don't know which nice neighborhood I want the kids to go to school to. You know, like you, you, yeah. It's no secret. It's no secret what these people believe in and try to build with this Pisces energy in reverse. It's statistic shit. It's Jerry Springer shit. Maury. <clears throat> just Judy. You see how she be ripping a hole in their ass because she just, she gets it. All these emotions. So now you have a lot you need to do, and you have a lot of options to do it with, and you have a love, a lot of love and passion that's gonna leave these people in a tower moment. Yeah, about what they was committed to, and the options they chose to. Uh, the way they chose to think that this was a way to get lucky with this seven and what they delivered trying to get things done. So they went to a lot of things that they didn't want to commit to. They went to people that had kids so they didn't have to commit to their own. They went to people that they could roll chop up so they didn't have to put nothing in their name. They went to people that they could just uh, go in and out their life so they can have it all. They committed to getting drunk and doing drugs. They committed to online prostituting and day naps. They committed to, you know, nice cars and material things and making fucking videos and, you know, being a hoe. They committed to these raggedy ass clubs and places and friends, people, places and friends. Thinking they were gonna get lucky. And now they overwhelmed while you going to common waters but you okay with having a lot to do. You like, dun 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 Now you worry about, oh, now you worry. You getting things accomplished with this now, with this release. Let's pull one more. Huh, you over there like this, sitting like, and this probably going to be you and your dude. You and your woman. Your divine. Your counterpart. Y'all going to be like, Y'all have clarity that y'all both going through the same low vibration shit and worried about what y'all can get done and going on. Because it's usually a kid and a man, a, you know, a woman and this man selling off with his family and shit. The fuck? Like the youngsters say, the fuck? Yes, her night, her night. So let's put their energy up. This be you and your counterpart. Are you chilling and thinking about how to get lucky with that money, honey? I want to start live streaming, okay? But that's when my life get a little more pumping. You know, I can show you more of me in my life. I think that'll be uh, fun, especially if you have someone in your family that's around my age. My birthday, December 15th. That is, uh, that don't have kids, and you know, it's all good. See what, see what we type of people do. <laughs> if you've been married or have kids, you know, or you can compare and see what it'd be like if you, you know, just get out there. It's what's up. Let's do this. Let's get these cars balanced. Shit. Yeah, it's her night, her night. You over there manifesting. Let's 
what you doing. You need to, you could be, not need to, but you could look, like I look up the cards I want. I look up the houses I'm on. I look up different stuff like that. But I don't actually pick one. I just look at what I'm capable of getting or shit like this. Just to get an idea what I, all my options are, right? It'd be beautiful if you could just get you something to eat and ride around with the kids or ride around and just look at different parts of your city you've never been so you can know that Go, you know, that's manifesting. Yes, yeah, honey, honey, you're gonna be on the honeymoon. You're about to get clarity. Yes, yeah, it's, it's time for you to manifest. And if you are an older person or you've been out of a relationship for a long time and you want one, then that's what I'm gonna help you do because that's the first thing I thought about. You need to manifest, you're not manifesting. Show you how to manifest. Yeah, let me show you how to get things done for a commitment. Oh yeah, life goes on. Shit. I'm ready to be that stepmom. Shit. I love you bitches. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, it's her night, her night. Some of y'all gonna be stepmoms and y'all have kids, stepdads. Like, come on, man. It is what it is, or maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, you settling away from these fucking gold diggers. These motherfuckers fighting each other. Then they up, they both doing the same shit. They out there doing the same shit, fucking up each other's life. But either way, you putting in all this manifestation, you could be a little overwhelmed from these people that's on you. You could feel their energy. You probably have a friend or something, even if this is not a mother figure. It could be a reader or someone that's upset and jealous. They don't know you know they've been trolling you since day one. <laughs> and they still not getting it, yeah. Yeah, your intuition is on me. Yeah, bitch is on alert. And you going on to a new beginning with these options. Getting lucky with the people, places that you're going to be going. Seven, getting lucky with what you manifest. With this seven, with that money, money, money. Yes, honey. And I will have a honey shirt coming out. Pretty soon. I'm going to make one badass honey shirt. Or maybe two, one for ladies and men. But I think I'll just start off with one for ladies and men, of course. Like a members thing. <clears throat> yes. You thinking about your options. Maybe you want a pet. Maybe you need to go on to that. Maybe you know what kind of house you want and all that. Maybe you want a pet. An exotic pet. I did think about did think about I did think about getting a monkey if I could work from home I think you gotta be with them a lot but if I get a little one I could sneak that to work <laughs> shit let's see Moon in reverse, these secrets are all about these fucking gold diggers and what they wanted to commit to. What they were sneaking off with this night. Getting things done. Options with these pets. <laughs> they had no commitment to. That's why you like, man. And then they had the nerve to make you want to wait and be nasty with you. Knowing that they had no commitment with these people. Because they all were gold diggers. They were gold diggers too. So they was worried more about what it was to get out of you. And what was the benefit of coming back to you. And they couldn't see no benefit. Because they would have had to come with their own shit. 
or they would have had to come with the looks and they don't have it like that. You know, this person might not have the clothes and the fashion to keep up with you. That's one reason why they didn't fuck with you on the regular. And maybe when you did see them, they came around you with new shit on because maybe that's the little outfit they got for the week or finally got why you ain't seen them. But, you know, you could tell you don't have financial and gambling shit problems. That's that's what the motherfucking secret's out. We don't just fucking suck and lay up all fucking day. Huh? We don't, uh, we not chicken heads around here. And nappy heads. Chicken head, nappy heads. And we not, uh, But shitheads? Doodoo heads when you was kids? Yeah. Yeah, they gonna have clarity that you gonna be on your honeymoon. They gonna be overwhelmed all these other people that's at your job old job people putting in the work to fuck with you because they mesmerized when they see that there's not gonna be a breakup <laughs> that your person did not commit to these pets and you get that now it's time for us to get shit done and all these people that this person didn't commit to all these gold diggers Cause your person probably a gold digger, but they ain't getting shit out of it. <laughs> Especially if this is a man. Or if this is a woman. Your person, this woman could just be with this man because he got it going on. She a gold digger, but she don't realize she ain't getting shit out of him with the big chain and the nice shoes. You not stepping in that issue. You not stepping in that. And that's all he can afford. He wearing the rent money and shit. Are fucking it off on rooms and shit. Or, uh, depending on what class of people this is, right? So there is no commitment. Yeah, but this has been manifested. It's been manifested. Oh, so they might have someone they didn't, they have a baby they not committed to, or you could be pregnant and you're not committed to this person. But they still want a commitment. Yeah. They still trying to get things done around these pets or their options. So I feel like they're manifesting if this is not a pregnancy around people they're not committed, committed to and because they don't want to break up and this going to cause a tragedy for the other people because they're going to have to realize they've been in a rat race. <laughs> With who? Because you manifesting, doing your thing, this person is manifesting birthing something we activated that energy and the secret some secret gonna come out about some money <laughs> these gold diggers might not think this person has money and they gonna sail the fuck away and then y'all gonna be what watching <laughs> manifesting from a distance you got your sword out you still gonna be doing readings, you still gonna be helping people, you still gonna be following your heart and intellect while this person getting money. Is that the future thing? Uh oh, we still got this earth sign out here again. A liar friend. Let's see, keep going. How long we have? Let me keep going on something else. Yeah, they'll be back. So they over there lying, maneuvering. Okay, we know that. We've been telepathically, if you know, you've been telepathically probably talking to this person. And that's why we need to get y'all 
to learn how to manifest so that you can get you a man or a woman if you're an older person or even young and don't know what to do. And it's not for you to be putting magic on people. It's for you to get in the right energy. You say I already know that, but it's something missing. <laughs> it's something going on. It's probably just a step you missing. Who knows, child? I'm not making nobody do anything. That shit is a waste of my energy. Uh, here we go. Let's get these physical energies out here. Because physical features. And then I'm going to get out your face. I plan to do an NG read later on. Yes, yesterday, I'm just not saying that every time I tell y'all something that I thought of and then it happened, it's just me um, probably just knowing it should be raining around this time of year. It's, I keep up with shit like that. I keep, it's not that I keep up. I realize how much it's raining because I like when it rains. So I, re and ooh, don't let me be off in my house. My house is dark right now. My fan and my AC on with my nice fluffy. Man, I got up at four. Was I ate a hot dog, laid in the middle of my bed with the window open and watched the rain, child. It fell back asleep listening to videos. It was such a beautiful fucking thing. Yes, honey, honey. So I pay attention to how much rain is coming and shit. So that's why I said yesterday, I was like, ooh, I hope it rains. It would be so nice. And then I looked at my phone, I say, 80% of rain. Hold up. So yes, it is a beautiful fucking thing. Yes, I do have a beauty mark right there. Maybe y'all have beauty marks other places because she have one here too. I have one here and on my leg. One, two, three. These people might be pale or be fluttered. Like face be fluttered. Yeah, maybe red Sagittarius. If you're not wearing red, wearing red lipstick. I feel like this commitment and getting shit done is going to put a wave in your hair. Electric. Electric. You know, that pull energy. It's going to make a wave around here. Motherfuckers going to be like, what? What happened? She gonna be dysfunctional. <laughs> These gold diggers gonna feel petite. The crows gonna be out. Shit. Somebody using their intuition overwhelmed. Let's see how this is. Is that you? You need to relax. I think so. Yeah. I know it's me. Because I'll be worried about shit I don't need to be worried about. I'll be like, oh, I need to get something to eat. And I'll be like, there's shit in there to eat. <laughs> Twin, where have you been? Gemini, I'll be like, it's communication. It's something in there to eat. And I'm like, I know. I'll be like, I need to go get some soda. I'll be like, now nah, you got some juice. You know, it's like, I just be, I don't know. I be feeling, I guess, guilty for living so comfortable and going through things and still being comfortable because I've been having, what's blocked out your reality, man? That why haven't I went and did this? Be more logical. Now I need to be more logical. you fucking right. And get it on. Maybe we need to go make a business portfolio on our next steps. Even if we have one, redo it. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so your person is maneuvering around these rats, and these rats are in a rat race. They're trying to get the cheese. I, man, this kept coming out skinny and physique. So you could be losing weight, or you could your health. If you fix your health, your weight will go back down. Or maybe you gaining weight, and you you was looking sexy, but this that's not who you are. <laughs> because your body kept coming out. Compared to these pets and the options. Something about your body is different. And it sends ways, baby. To make this bitch want to commit. <laughs> How I'm looking, y'all. <laughs> make a motherfucker want to get shit done. I'm on. 
Mm. See, yeah, I grew up with two sisters and a mother. Yeah, I know how to motivate a man, and it has nothing to do with looks. If you want an injury with me, and it has nothing to do with motivating them. Certain men like a woman to be a certain way in a certain class. And all you gotta do is look at the women in that class and and it's not mock them. Know that if you fit that. <laughs> but you can fit it, develop the shit. You know I mean like you get what I'm saying. You want a thug, you act like a thug. You want a businessman, look like a business woman. You have to reflect. Want to be a mom? Look like you're a mom. Want to be a wife? Look like you're a wife. Come on now. Let's do this. You're giving these hoes to rest in bitch face because you have no reason to be explaining yourself to bitches that you know their secrets. And it's not about knowing their secrets. Because <laughs> you're not probably that type of person. They probably know you know their secrets, but it's the part of their secrets they don't know you know, you know, that you didn't give them that nugget, you know, the one that some people probably need to come and do an injury with me. It's like, uh, you didn't give them every nugget they thought they got or they thought they could compete with you with. Be careful, you can't teach bitches shit and they will try to compete with you, you with what you taught them and it's like, <sighs> Nobody knows me. <laughs> These people don't know they fucking selves. Yeah. You got these kids around you trying to, yeah, and you like, man, I'm a grown ass one man. I'm a man, motherfucker. <laughs> Even though I got a baby face. Whatever these hoes are thinking, it's okay. It's not that you have a baby face. Even though you went through shit they couldn't probably handle, you handled it the best way. You was given that hard assignment and you took care of it. It's not all about you having life lessons. You giving them too now. They son in the soldier. They say, you know what? I, I know what I got for you. Let me call in. Uh... We gon' okay, Roger that. We gonna beam me up to uh, beam me to floor nine. Let's get a Sagittarius down here. Beam me up, Scotty. You the only one with the fucking tool, the wisdom. They mamas told them. They sisters told them. The kids told them. Jobs told them. They ain't shit. They need to get it together. They need to fix their attitude. You want to be a man or a woman in a relationship, but you can't be both motherfucking narcissists. What's manifesting? Yeah, I feel like you're not committed to anything of this nature. You're doing your own. They're not committed. You're manifesting. you out there like a hippie, free spirit. Yes, her name. And before I go, we're going to roast them. Like and subscribe. Let me know what's on your mind. I'll be here later on if you need to think about it. But yes, I hope y'all enjoy my videos. I do hope that I'll raise your vibration. Especially if you have a broken heart. I don't try to get too much. Oh yeah, you, they're trolling. Your beauty marks. They trolling that body. They trolling what you're doing. They trolling what you're trying to manifest. They need therapy. So what you about to have clarity about? Your person's not a narcissist. And they probably thought they was. Are they narcissistic? 
Even good men will test you. It's just part of the game, boo. And if you not doing shit, is you proving that you got game too. Not doing shit is game. Being solid. Not explaining yourself. Not letting somebody get you out your character. Not, and not letting people exchange energies with you, basically. One deep in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? You and this bitch sending waves. <laughs> you need to stop it, y'all. <laughs> Showing out, oh, uh, it ain't your fault. Did I do that? Are oh, you like, oops, could you pick that up? <laughs> yeah, you got them out there looking like this, these gold diggers and shit. You got them going to common waters, they don't have a choice. They feel like they don't have a choice, they ain't privileged. They can't stand up for themselves, this woman, these women. That's what just tried to come out, the black square in reverse. Yeah, they can't tell this person, fuck you, like you did. You the woman the other day, they want to be the man. Yeah, this shit gonna work out great. You better listen to your intuition. Or you gonna be overwhelmed while still doing shit on your own. Oh, you don't have a problem with these people. You get it. Like I said earlier, you don't let nobody take you out your character. So they all looking at your body or this person comparing you to these people, the way you look, the way your hair smell or how you choose to wear it. With these other options, it's, you was more average to this person. Maybe you didn't wear all the lashes all the time and the nails are the basketball tennis shoes and you know the white tee and the ghetto baseball caps and shit all the time. Maybe you was in uniform, you know, you trigger these people. You trigger these options that this person have. Or you trigger these people, they delusional. That's also delusional. To think you have options that you don't. So your person could be triggered that they think they have options that they don't. <laughs> so these options are triggering them. It's not you. Because they're their pets. It's like a horse that's getting beat by the owner because he didn't win the race. And he got a lot of these horses. And you are steady going. And y'all got the trophy. Man, what? <laughs> these hoes are not doing a good job. These options are not. This seven, right? This seven, make sure that seven. And this motherfucking big ass eight. Yeah, they not doing a good job. They have no chance. It's like your person, your person purposely built, brought your horses that already had broken legs. They already needed to be put down. And they thought that they was gonna come and you was gonna what? You was the most, you know, you was trained. <laughs> you was fed the best. Marco Polo, that's an expensive fucking sport. The clothes are expensive. The fuck? The horse has value. It's not what the horse do. So here your person come in wanting to feel needed. Yeah, with this eight, they tried to balance it. <laughs> With a bunch of broken horses. Eight hey, balance. Let's see what your ass is doing. That's why you like, man, listen. You got a lot to do with these horses. <laughs> you got a lot to do with these women. Even your daughters, probably. Broken little horses. 
Let me be nice. Yeah, you have an influence on the love and the comments and the people that. So you could be a reader and not even know, or y'all cannot know that y'all might have an influence on the people that's uh, you leaving your comments and saying what you're going through, right? Because y'all do. Y'all leave me shit like that. So. <laughs> She, I was getting harassed at the park by one of these kind of <laughs> I had a, I had a, a roachy rat jumping, trying to come in my house the other day. I had to hurry up and close. No, y'all telling me shit like this. The proof is in the pudding, honey. It's in there. Yeah, we don't have a problem with y'all. You're not the only one. I'm not the only one. <laughs> they said... <laughs> Other people go through people shit <coughs> like this with people like them. That's why you got your resting bitch face on here. Yeah. You throw them the money when you drive by and you throw the money out the window. At least you took care of something. I was you give the charity and the donations. No reason to feel sorry for these people. You do what you want to do. You know, they think you a kid. This person don't want a time moment. Or maybe the person that they with is going to hit a time moment. Either way, these people going to hit a time moment. It doesn't matter. Now let's go while you over there looking like butterfly in the sky. I can go twice as high. Take a look. That's what they can <laughs> You going to be pregnant. Uh, you going to have these accesses, remember? We'll do that one on the next one. Yeah, these bitches that don't want a traditional relationship. Let me show you what's going to happen when you want to think you can do your free willy nilly. <laughs> free will, bitch, not free nilly willy. You got the free will to either live right, get off them drugs, stalking, and trolling is addictive. Now your ass is going through withdrawals. Can't stop. Digging on you, you digging on me, we're digging on we, yeah. These bitches can't stop. And you over there standing in your fucking lane. Just do the damn thing. I hope I see you later, and I hope you enjoyed my videos, and I see you later, Gator.